I'm Daniel Hayes here at the Malcio Cabin, and today we're cooking smash burgers. Uh, this is elk meat. Pretty much every time we're cooking these, we're either using uh, deer or elk, and we've got a little elk left over. The good thing about smash burgers is you can prep all the patties beforehand, make these nice little patties. They're gonna smash down pretty thin, so <clears throat> usually we're cooking doubles. It doesn't take but three minutes, maybe, uh, on medium high heat to get these patties ready to serve. So. If you're cooking for a big crowd, we've got the smaller two burner griddle today with cast iron on one side. So we're just gonna be doing a few patties at a time. But if you've got a big crowd and you've got a bigger burner, you can crank through these patties a bunch at a time if you're serving for a lot of people. So anyway, we're gonna get started. So there's a lot of little different ways that people like to do their smash burgers, but you usually need a little bit of oil fat under your patty. It really doesn't matter what you do, but it's kind of fun to use the squirt mayo. So uh, that's usually what I use. So put a little bit of mayo down, drop patty on there. Like I said, we're doing four patties at a time on this little burner. We've got the griddle up to medium high heat and it's probably a little above that right now. It's pretty piping hot. What I usually like to do, you can do it either way. If you drop the onions down on top, it'll usually keep the meat from sticking to the spatula. But if you give it a little sear when they're still balled up and then flip it, then you can smash it on top where the meat is and it won't stick. So drop a little bit of onion on top. And you can go ahead and smash the heck out of it because the thinner the better, it gets a little crispy. It's gonna be nice and juicy. Everything cooks quick, it gets a good hard sear. And the good thing about dropping the onions on here is that they get scattered all over the griddle. So if you really like cooked onions, you got a lot of little bits all along the side that you're gonna drop on the burger at the end of it. So it really just takes about two minutes and you'll see the edges of the burgers will start to look done before you're ready to flip. About two minutes when you're cooking on medium high. All we put on top of there is salt and pepper and you can wait and throw that on after they're already smashed down on the griddle. Sprinkle a little bit. I like a lot of black pepper, but seasoned salt and pepper to taste. All right, so these are ready to flip. What we're gonna do when we flip them over is flip and then immediately add the cheese. And usually right when the cheese gets melted, the burgers are ready to eat. They don't need but about a minute on this side. And we're making doubles, so if you want to get a light on the cheese and just toss one slice on there, that's cool. But, you know, I'll say the more the merrier. Usually about this time, we'll have another burner on low. Get that good and buttered. And then drop a couple of your buns face down on there. Makes it a little less messy than putting the butter on the outside. Gets it nice and toasty. All this, the, the buns and the patties will be ready all at about the same time. So if you've got a, a platter to drop them on when you're finished, everything kind of, buns are toasty, cheese is melty. You can flip the patties over right on top of each other and then drop them straight onto the bun. Just like that, probably three minutes from start to finish. Perfectly toasted buns, perfectly melted cheese, perfect meat, and they're good to eat. There you have it. We got six double smash elk burgers right here. So beginning to end, literally three minutes to a delicious looking burger. Make sure you get all the uh, patties patted out beforehand because that makes everything run smoothly whenever you got your whole station out beside the grill, but any grill master already knows that. Cheese on top after you flip it, butter the buns, add a little pickles on top of there if you want to, and anything else you need to know you can find in the, in the copy. But wild game smash burgers, there you have it.